So hi everyone, my new book Lanchin in your pocket beginner's guide to building gen AI applications using LLMs is out now on Amazon. The book is already a bestseller as you can see it is trending on hash 3 on Amazon bestsellers. So go get, grab your copies and find the link in the description below. So hi everyone, today we will be discussing about the key differences between two major generative AI frameworks that is Langchain and DSPY. I think you all must have heard of Langchain but DSPY is quite underrated and is majorly used by programmers. Right, so let's get started. First of all, we'll try to figure out which package you should be using and what are the differences between the two packages. I assume that you have worked on Langchain. DSPY might not have worked but I think it's uh, slowly getting the buzz that it deserves. So let's get started and I feel that you must be knowing about DSPY as well. If you don't know about it, you can check out my previous tutorial on DSPY. So let's get started. So the most major difference between the two packages is how prompt engineering is done. So if you have used Langchain extensively, the prompt uh, for any application that you build is manually provided by the user. But in case of DSPY, there are automatic codes. It is an automatic compiler that is tuning the prompt for you and eventually you are just writing programs. And internally, DSPY package generates a high quality prompts for you. So that's the biggest advantage that DSPY do. You don't need to hype, uh, tune your uh, prompt. That is done by DSPY automatically. But in case of Langchain, that you need to provide manually. As already said, programming over prompting, DSPY prioritizes programming over prompting. So eventually in case of Langchain, it's the opposite. It's more driven by prompts. But in case of DSPY, it is more driven by programming and uh, internally DSPY is handling the uh, best high quality prompt that should be used for the application that you wish to build. Lightweight and optimizing. So that is an advantage that DSPY gives you. It is lightweight and hence can be used with production and automatically optimizes the prompt for you and hence good for large scale application. Control over prompts. When you talk about uh, if you have worked on any generative AI application, you must be knowing that uh, the role of prompt is very huge. Hence, uh, you might at some point you might need to have control over the prompts that you write. So in that case, DSPY not, might not be your best choice because it doesn't allow you to provide prompts. But that is not the case with Langchain. Langchain gives you more control over the prompts as you are manually crafting it uh, and easy to use. So Langchain is generally considered easier to use as compared to DSPY. That has been my personal experience as well. DSPY is a little more complicated and is well suited for programmers only. And, uh, and Langchain can be used for non-programmers also. What I feel, I have recently written a book on that. So it, which aims towards non-programmers uh, non as well as non-data science guys also. So I feel that Langchain is much easier to use and more quick if you wish to build out some POC and all. But DSPY can be your go-to tool when you're trying out something complex it provides you with more complexity and flexibility. Uh, talking about the community, I think Langchain has any day a bigger community. Hence, more help is available, more tutorials are available. But DSPY, if you are good with programming, I think DSPY can be your go-to solution also. So these are the major differences between the two major uh, two major generative AI packages. Uh, one is how they involve prompt engineering, how they use programming, lightweightedness control over the prompts and the ease of useness and the size of the community. So I hope that this video helps you out to choose which package you should be using for your generative AI application. Thank you.